Hello and welcome back to our Distant Worlds 2 Let's Play Poorly. So uh, when last we were here, we were actually on the beta and now we are on the released branch called Aurora. Uh, it's essentially what we've been dealing with up to this point, so uh, nothing new for us. There are a few things that got updated that uh, I don't recall seeing. One of the nice ones is we've got a freeform option for... Um, Where is it? Oh, it's not doing what I want. Hang on now. What? Ooh, that's weird. Let's try this again. Let's go back to the top down. There we go. So, there is a freeform option now. Where we can kind of just go wherever we want. I don't know that I'm going to use this, but it's nice that it's there because I'm sure that there are some people who would really enjoy this being able to like come in like here and then watch a battle yeah but me my brain doesn't work that way I like top down and I wish I hadn't rotated it okay well we'll just deal with that so we got some resources salvaging the containers Oh boy. Uh, hang on, where where are we? Where is this? Oh, this is all happening here. Yes, okay. Fantastic. Don't know that there's anything here that we necessarily want. Construction ships are going. Everything is kind of proceeding the way we want it to at the moment. We got rid of these bad dudes. Um, all right, let's, let's spin you back around, right round like a record baby. There we go. Holy cow. Got a lot of new stuff. New resources, I like it. Okay. Let's take a look at our our uh, our fleets. Let's retrofit these guys back up to something good. Those are all fine. Holy cow, come on now. We've got a, a cargo ferry. Well, uh, what about you? Oh, he's just doing his thing now. Oh, hey, friend, we're back here again. All right, let's take a let's do tab here. Look at that! Look at that! Cut down. Oh, and he did it again. My brain does not work unless we're all looking at the map in the same way. Okay, the fleets are done. Still got these abandoned ships all over here. Where's this? Oh, that's not anywhere near us. Okay. Uh, we still don't have anywhere to... That's worth... Um, colonizing. Another small freighter picked up. We have to get this colon continental colonization done, really. That's that's what we need. Can we crash it? I don't think so. Ugh. Can we crash you? 110k. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, we have the money, but that'll, that'll wipe us out. We 
don't really need any of this stuff. I don't want to have treaties with any of these pirates. You know what? What is this going to get us? I can only build one. Can I crash it? No. It would cost me more than I have. Dang. What would it take to crash this one? Almost, well, 200 and over 250. The Great Hunt. We really got sandwiched here. I'm going to have to take this. know if it uh, improves things once I get there, but that's, no, that's still going to be 22, ooh. Ooh, alright, so there's definitely combat happening up there. These guys, I definitely want to, I want to deal with these guys here, the Hakonish. We have no treaties with them, we're at minus 23. If we fight them, we're going to get beat. Absolutely going to get beat. I feel like I want to do it anyway. Well, let's talk to them. Let's see. All we could get out of them is a thousand credits if we did any kind of trade, so it's not going to work. Montecudro, I'd like to try to build up something like an alliance with them. Not really sure how to do that. Maybe we should send them some more money. Yeah. Next time we would be happy to accept even larger amounts. Just wanted to make sure you knew that. Ooh, there we go. We could offer a non-aggression treaty with these guys. Yes. I want to get... These guys are the one of the, one of the big guns in the universe. I want to get them on our side. So that we can then take it to the Hakonish. A good that's a good number there plus 20 which is i think the immediate relation change right it's not the uh overall like it, it i mean it is but it, it it moves i think it kind of drifts towards the mean right drifts towards zero maybe yeah so this is trending downwards any faster. Wish I could do, like, time date, but I imagine that it would make the game run off the rails. Can we investigate? Oh, no, they're too far away. burning money through our pockets right now but we don't really have any use for the money at the moment because we're not in a in a in a war and we don't want to get into a war right away I really want these luxuries I don't know how to how to source them
I want a better trade agreement with them. I need to get these resources. I need to get these resources by other means than mining because I just don't have the capacity to do that. No, there's no, there's nothing in the um, in the vicinity that I could really do. Ugh, that's gross. Why am I able to retrofit these guys? There, there's no been no updates. There's been no changes. Maybe they're side grading. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Maybe not. No, no. we're good there. Do this. Let's do the improved destroyers. We don't. Yeah, I'll cost 80k. We we have the money that we're not spending on anything else. That'll be done in less than four years now. And advanced construction will be done in less than nine. So I think I'll go ahead and uh, get us there. Unless something happens, I'll be right back. Uh, so while I was just twiddling my thumbs waiting for all this to develop, I went over to here and checked the victory conditions. And I was wrong about Montecudro being any any worthwhile ally. Look at that. They are number 10. Of course, I'm absolutely crap. I am not the bottom, but very close to it. Uh, the Boscara Hive is the one that is uh, getting towards the victory conditions. Yeah, they're going through... Uh, the victory conditions of their own race. Oh boy, yeah. Controlling the home world. Another home world. Yeah. Damn. They're doing great. We're doing terrible. So yeah, it might be worthwhile to, to ally with these guys, but still. Uh they're not gonna. They're not gonna they're not gonna be the bullies we need them to be. They're making our way. I just need to get those destroyers improved. And, well, I really need the continental colonization, but that's uh, going to be some time. Oh boy. And real quick, it says, uh, concerning news from independent traders, we're hearing alarming reports from some of the independent traders visiting our stations. They say that an ancient enemy called the Hive has awakened in our region of space. It is attacking and consuming all in its path. The traders say that other empires and even pirates are uniting to fight against it, but so far without success. If there is truth to these tales, we should prepare ourselves in case of this enemy heads head, heads uh, in our direction. Oh boy. Yeah, we're going to get creamed. So we're just uh, about 200 days left before we can uh, upgrade our destroyers. Six years to advance construction. Improved continental colonization is still just utter crap. 47 percent. Don't have a lot of money. What are all you guys? Cargo shuttles. You're not doing anything? What are you just you just sitting there? Hey, you've got nothing to trade. We don't have any freaking colonies.
we add more scientists. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay, six days. Zero days. Ta-da! All right, improved destroyers. Let's see. Do we? Does that change our hull? Do we have to do anything? Yes, we do. Let's see where this gets us. Meanwhile, we're going to need to do a third, a third uh, research program. Let's head up here, all the way to the top. Point defense, defense missiles. I haven't done any ground stuff, but I haven't had any need for it. We don't have any shields yet. I think that would be a good thing to start with. There we go. Do we want to crash it? Yeah. Doesn't get us. Doesn't cost us a lot to do that. Deflectors. Hmm. What do we need? What do we need? Maybe some accelerated projectiles? I don't know. We could try to get hyperdrive technology. I don't know that we really need it. We're super boxed in as it is. Not needing to kind of go very far. But it's probably something we should have had a long time ago, so. It'll, we can't crash it. It would cost us 115k to crash, so. Let's go with this. We're still having such a hard time with these luxury resources. Oh, what do we got? Oh, hyperdrive breakthrough. Nice. Okay. It's gotten, uh, it started to crash. First contact. Goodbye. We don't care about you. You're just an independent colony. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, it's a bad, very fast crash. That's great. Do I want to talk to them? Uh, they've got trade agreements with everybody. mad what oh the red gangsters are done okay well I don't know if I ever had to deal with those uh let's maybe help us union that's the um that's these guys down here let's uh maybe get our Ambassador over the Boscar Hive, maybe? Just in case we're going to need that later. Got an 
these guys are going after. I'm going to put them on the Hakonish Federation. Steal some research, yeah. What do we want to steal? Well, let's go ahead and do this hyperdrive technology. 14. No, all right, we'll do 72%. Yeah, we'll do that. Akonish guys, we're just, yeah, we're, we're, we're putting ourselves against you this whole way through. Can we sabotage something? Probably not. It's still your territory map. Tractor beams, sure, why not? And uh, what else we want to get? Long range sensors. Whoops. Sure. Really, the only option we have in terms of being able to like fight against these guys, I think they're too strong for us. I kind of feel like I want them, want my spies to fail just to get them pissed off so we can have some action here. I don't want to actively declare war against them because I know I'm going to get beat. So I might as well just let it just I'll poke the bear a little bit and we'll just uh, see what happens. Almost got the hyperdrive tech. Mining station under attack by a Gravelex. Let's take first fleet out. Yes, that's really why we need the hyperdrive tech. It will make this faster. And we've got the research. Let's uh let's go in here. Do some enhanced hyperdrives, I guess. Sure. Ooh. Yeah, we got the, the hyperdrive tech. So we should probably go back here. He's got no mission. We're going after the Hakonish again. We're going to steal some more research. Medical system. Sure. Evasions of detection. Failed to get the map. And did get that. Okay, let's do that again here. Uh, fission blasters, sure. Come on, nachos. Where are you where are you going? Carry weapons. It would just go top to bottom, actually. 
Yeah, next time we'll just we'll just go top to bottom on that because we're gonna try to get everything. All right, here we go. Let's slow this down. All right, this is fun. This, yeah. Oh, and he's dead. Well, that was quick. Yeah, why is that all messed up? I need top down. There we go. And got long range sensors tech. Okay. Let's see who's next. Pete. Konish. Research. Go. Get whatever you can. And now back to week one. Oh, they didn't get hurt at all. And it's construction's nearly there. Can we crash it? We could. Do I want to? Yes, screw it. Let's crash. So this will that'll give us the ability to make one special project. But we're gonna leave that till next time. When we come back, we're gonna keep uh, poking the bear here. See if we can get some action out of it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.